In this course, you'll learn to paint this sea turtle in watercolor. And here's the process we'll follow. First, we'll create that gorgeous bluish background. We'll begin by applying masking fluid right along here and down here. And I'll do my best to create a smooth application of masking fluid so that we'll have a nice smooth line. After about a minute, I'll rinse the brush in water and wipe it on the tea towel and then on this paper towel and check it to make sure there's no masking fluid on it. Dip it in the liquid soap again. I'll tap it on my paper towel just to release any extra liquid soap. Give it a dip into the masking fluid and continue. And there it is. Rinse your brush and make sure it's nice and clean with no masking fluid. And now let's move into the background. I'll use a medium to large brush to wet the paper and create the background just to get the color in more quickly. And I encourage you to use whatever brush you have on hand. I dip the brush in water and I'll wet the paper. Now what I'm aiming for is enough water on the paper so that there's a shine. And I want to completely cover this area but I don't want it to be dripping wet. And I'll pick up color with my brush. And do you see how I'm turning the brush to fill it with color? And I'll touch it into the center just to watch how the color spreads and then guide it where you'd like it to go. So what I'll do is just go right along this edge with my paper towel and kind of soak up the excess and allow that to dry flat. Boy, that always looks really dark at first, but then it dries lighter. So I'm laying it in where I'd like it to be darker, and I'll tilt it. So I'm going to now allow this to dry again. And if I'm happy with it, and I think I will be happy with it, it will be time to remove the masking fluid. To remove the masking fluid, I'll use my finger and thumb, making sure they're nice and clean. And there it is. We're ready to begin the turtle. And I'll start with the eyes. So let's start by creating a pale map of the features that we can use as a guide. This is going to eventually be the darkest part. Now right now it's not very dark, but we'll get it in place and little by little, we'll take it darker. And I'll lay in the first layer of color. And 
Now let's see if those eyes are dry. They're still a little damp. So let's give it a couple more minutes to dry. And in the meantime, I'm taking a look at the underpainting. What I'm looking for are the lighter colors underneath these spots. And what I'm seeing underneath a lot of these spots is yellow. So I'm looking for any areas that contain brown or kind of yellow or greenish yellow. What I'd like to do is refine the color and value in the lightest part. And I think overall I need to take this area just slightly darker. As the eyes dry, I'll continue to lay in a pale color map in the turtle. We've got yellow in place, and I think I'll move next to the browns. This brown will appear different depending on the color underneath. Let's take a look at the shell. I'm seeing different kinds of brown, some very dark, some more bluish. So I think what I'll do first is lay in an underpainting. I'll apply a pale brown to these shapes. I often find it necessary at this point to go back in and reinforce the darkest parts so that we don't lose them. Now things are appearing disjointed because those areas are very dark, but we'll lay in mid-tones that will help to balance things out. I'm going to go back in and take this part of the eye darker. Next, I'll give attention to areas or shapes that appear to be pale gray, brownish gray, or darker brown. Another place where I'm seeing gray is in all of these spots but I'm seeing just a little bit of gray in part of each shape. Let's tackle this darker shell. And the next thing I think I'll do is create a map of where the darker and lighter shapes are in this darker part of the shell. Now that we've got a map of the shapes in place, I'll begin to create the dark browns and the grays. And I'm focusing on what will be the darkest parts of this shell, which is mostly right along this lower edge. What I'm noticing is some of these triangular shapes can go darker in value. I'd really like to lay in a thin glaze of Windsor Blue over this part of the shell and a little bit into this area because I think there's a reflection of blue from the water. And I'll gently apply the blue, very gently. And with that thin application of blue, 
the shell now has a bluish look, which I think reflects the blue water. As I had anticipated, some previous layers of color have been lifted. I'll go back in and I'll refine mid-tone grays and browns where needed, and then I'll reinforce the dark parts. And next, I'll go in with the darkest parts. What a difference it makes when you reinforce the darkest parts. Now I can clearly see where mid-tones need to be refined. I'm going back in and I'm going to take some shapes a little darker using different grays from my palette. I'd like to further refine color and value in the head, flippers, and body. And lay in darker values that represent contour and curve. And I'm going to use a pale gray to create those values. And the next thing I'm going to do is give attention to the thin lines that I see here. And when everything is dry, we'll be ready to apply larger shadows. I'm seeing a shadow right here. Let's take a look at other places that could use shadow. There are some parts of this turtle that seem to contain a blue reflection. I do think these shapes need to go slightly darker. Touch in some textures with the tip of the brush. What I'm doing is laying in a little bit of gray in some of the shapes. And when everything is dry, I'll take a step back, look at the entire turtle, and make final refinements. I hope you enjoyed this video and I invite you to visit our online school where you can learn to paint this and all kinds of realistic pets and animals in watercolor. Thanks for watching.